Shigeru Studios and today I am doing my super exciting unboxing of the literally most expensive thing I've ever ever bought. Just like and I guess it's like the most expensive individual thing because like I'm sure I spend lots of money. Without further ado, let's open this 3D printer. I'm so excited. The box is huge and I know I have to like build it so this will be quite the uh quite the challenge so this is the box it's absolutely gigantic and it has like this picture of it on the side i'm so excited i've been watching some videos on like how to set it up and then like how you can make designs and things so I'm really excited just hope i get it to work Hopefully I can create and stuff. Okay. So, oh, it's really interesting. Voila. Have it all open now. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is fancy. So I need some um, mental support and um, I have no idea how to do this. So getting my mom. finally assembled the entire thing after like however long that took and um it's a little bit later in the day and everything i've been watching videos and stuff on how to do this so i'll show you guys where we are so far okay so this is it in all of its beautiful glory and i have it right next to my barn auto home oh my goodness we set it up oh my god Mmm, that's so great. Oh my god. I don't know if it's most supposed to move that slowly, but I guess so. Wow, okay, so I want to print something. It will be my first print. I'm very excited, but I need to like use my USB, I guess. There's like a, a USB that you use, so. Okay, so someone made like a like bucket online, so I think that is what we will do. So this is like the USB thing that came with it. So now I have to go to this digital software, it's called Cura, and you have to take this and then if we go to downloads, you might find it. So apparently my computer cannot handle like water buckets. Because I uploaded it and it like 
just completely just turned off. That was very interesting. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna turn this off just while I'm waiting. Okay guys, we have our water bucket, yay. So I'm not sure quite how to do this, but I don't know. Let's look on how, so wow, there's a lot of settings here. Jeez Louise, my goodness. Yeah, I have no idea how to do any of this. <laughs> Okay, and then I have printer settings that I like imported from someone um, that I was watching a YouTube video from. So I guess we start this slicing. So save to removable drive. Yes. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do this and then turn it here and then push. There's no how. What do you mean? Where is there a film in two? Wait! That one too fast! I broke it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Thank god. Oh my gosh, I love you, Exacto Knife. Oh, I love you, Exacto Knife. Well, we're not going to do that again. Wow, good job. Um, erg. Okay, I need to cut out an angle, apparently. That's good, I was pushing it a little too far. Okay, so what do I need to do now? Fonse, fonse, I think it's working. So I think you have to wait until it gets to the correct temperature, and then you can do it. finally got it to work. I'm printing a slight size water bucket and something that my brother told me and that I didn't really realize was that there's fill in the middle so I think I have to like chisel it out if that's what he said um but I'm wondering if maybe I can print something out the fill and then I can have like a hollow bucket. So guys long story short this is the first thing that I have 3d printed and it is like supposed to be a bucket but it kind of ended up getting pretty messed up in the printer because like I don't think the plate was hot enough and like it got detached from the base so then it started like doing some wonky things but this is like my third attempt at a bucket but we only got like half of a bucket but you know it could be like a little a little grandish for like um some grain and stuff so yeah so I'm sure I'm gonna keep toying around with it. It's very fun and I'm super excited to like keep making stuff. And yeah, I mean, it's like definitely a work in progress. I didn't know, I mean, like I expected it to be hard, but I didn't really expect it to be like this hard, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, it's gonna be definitely a work in progress, but I'm so excited to keep going with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out my etsy i have lots of stuff coming on soon and stuff that's already on there so go check that out go follow me on instagram i post there every single day and i'm trying to you know upload as much as i can on here but definitely get a lot more on instagram and of course thank you for watching stay sweet Mwah.